exponential growth. Okay, a type of bacteria splits in half or doubles every one minute. Find the equation of growth. Well, what do we mean by equation of growth? First of all, we're going to start with one, I believe you call this a bacterium, if there's only one of them. We're going to start with one little critter here, and every minute he's going to split in half and make two little critters. So he's going to double in every minute. And there's going to be four, and there's going to be eight, etc. And that's the way it's going to grow. And what we're looking for is an equation of growth that is the number at any time t. So if somebody says, how many will I have in 20 minutes, or how long will it take me to get a million of these things in this Petri dish with this nice nutrient in here, uh, then you can, you can actually come up with that number. So that's the model we're looking for. And we're going to start by taking a number line like this in time and minutes. And at zero, we only have one of these little creature, creature, creatures, critters, or a bacterium, or whatever you want to call them. We only have one. But after one minute, we've got two. And after two minutes, we've got four of them, because they all split in half every minute, roughly. And then we've got eight. And then in four minutes, we've got 16, etc. In five minutes, we've got 32. So they're growing like that. We start with one, two, four, and then eight, and then 16, 32, etc. So that's the way they're growing. And we're going to uh, search for this equation, this number at time t, in sort of a scientific manner. We're not going to do anything real mathematical. We're going to do it by the guess method. And usually when I ask my students, what do you think the equation would be that would give us this equation of growth? They think, well, 2, maybe it's 2t. And they always say this. All right? This is very common, 2 times t. Let me make that look a little better. But then we see if it really works. For instance, I put 3 in, and I get 6. Well, I'm supposed to get 8. If I put 0 in, I get uh, 0, and I'm supposed to get 1. So 2t doesn't work. Finally, some enterprising student will say, think, well, we're doing exponential growth. He's got it right there. Maybe it's 2 to the t power. And we'll try 2 to the t and see if that works. So we'll put 0 into 2 to the t, and anything to the 0 power, of course, is 1. So it gives us 1. Well, it works there. If I put 1 into 2 to the t, here, I'll put 2 to the t right here. If I put 1 in here, I get 2. If I put 2 in here, I get 4. If I put 3 in here, I'll get 8. By gosh, it works. So there's our equation. The number that we'll have at any time t will equal 2 to the t. Now let's go over here and answer a couple of questions on this. So we'll move the camera over here. Here's our equation of growth for the, the little bacteria in the Petri dish, okay, growing away without any enemies. They just grow and grow and grow. We want to know how many will there be in 13.6 minutes. Well, that's the number, and we use functional notation here. We'll put 13.6 there. It means we're going to put 13.6 in for time, which is 2 to the 13.6 power. And if you put that in your calculator, you will get 12,417, approximately that number of bacteria in 13.6 minutes. So that wasn't too bad. And I'm going to need an eraser for this next thing, but that's okay. I got one right here. The next question you might want to know is, when will there be 100,000 bacteria? In other words, when will this culture start with one and grow to 100,000? Okay, sort of the opposite question. So I'm going to erase this here, and we're going to look at this. So the number I want is 100,000. Okay, and this equals 2 to the t, and we want to know what time will I have 100,000 of these little critters. Well, how do we solve this? This is an exponential equation, okay? And the way we do this is we take the log of both sides, equals the log of 2 to the t. And we use our logarithmic rhythmic properties to bring this t out front. It's one of the logarithmic properties that we can bring the exponent out front. When we do that, we'll have the log of 100,000 equals t times the log of 2. Now, it's important to remember that this is just a number, this log of 100,000. This is just a number, and this is a linear equation for t. So if I divide both sides by the log of 2, I'll have what t is. And t comes out to, see if I can 
got enough room here, 100,000 log, excuse me, of 100,000, okay, divided by ln2. Okay, so that's how long it takes. That's how many minutes right there, the log of 100,000 divided by the log of 2. And of course, these numbers are in your calculator. And so I guess I'll put it up here, right here. The time, when you put it in your calculator, will be 16.6 minutes. Can you get that in the screen OK? 16.6 mm -hmm. minutes is how long. That's the log of 100,000 over the log of 2. Now this is just the first lecture on exponential applications. And we're going to do some more with this, uh, several other parts. And we'll do that later.